This is a quick tutorial demonstration on how to access PixWriter with your iPad. PixWriter is not iOS native and therefore cannot be found on the App Store. However, you can access PixWriter that's installed on a desktop or laptop computer by utilizing a remote desktop connection application. The remote desktop application that we're choosing for this tutorial is Splashtop. We chose Splashtop because it allows for the voice to transfer to the iPad. Some of the remote desktop applications do not, but you can utilize any of them. Splashtop does work with both Macintosh and Windows computers. Once you've downloaded and installed Splashtop, you need to log in, which I have already done. Now you're ready to access PixWriter on your iPad. So we have to go to, your, go to our iPad. and select the Splashtop application. It will automatically find computers within the range to access. Um, there's my computer. The first thing that appears are hints and gestures and this gives you ideas on how to use your finger taps and drags to mir mimic clicks of a mouse and screen scrolls. This is different in Macintosh and Windows, but they work well both the same. I'm going to close out of that. And now you can see that I have PixWriter on my iPad. It is mirroring the same screen that I had on my computer. The PixWriter is already set up with a PixWriter word bank from Simply Science Animals, talking about pets and wild animals. You now use PixWriter as you would a touch screen by selecting the buttons. I would like to have a dog. The literacy support picture, the word, and also the voice output comes out in the paper portion. The voice output is coming from the iPad, but you can change that to be from the computer or both if you choose to in your Splashtop preferences. You can use PixWriter just as you would if you have a button that you don't have and you want to use your computer, you can just access your on-screen keyboard, type in the word, I'm going to type in a lizard, and I hit my space button, close my keyboard, and now you can see that the lizard picture and the word comes up in the paper as well as a button is created down below. So you can create your own word banks by utilizing PixWriter this way or you can allow your students to write by utilizing the buttons and also, again, the on-screen keyboard. You can also change pictures and utilize our target word dialog at any time. I'm going to use my typical iPad features to expand to get to a smaller button. I'm going into my target words right now. And in those target words, this is where I would select a different picture for a word. I'm going to type in the word dog. You can see here's my dog picture that's the default, but I have all these other pictures to choose from in my literacy support thesaurus. If none of those work, in Macintosh you can select an import picture file. I'm going to choose a picture of my dog, name it dog, click OK. Now you can see a new picture has arrived. I'm going to add my target and select done. Close out of my on-screen keyboard and now my dog picture has changed in both the paper and the button. This is not intended to be a tutorial of PixWriter, but it is showing you that you still have all the access that you would normally have on your computer. All of the menu options are still available, such as changing the personal pronoun gender, changing the size of the font and the pictures, changing the word banks, buttons and how many there are. Also you can change things with your speech, the voice you want to use, copy, paste, save, print, all of that goes through your computer. So PixWriter can be accessed through a remote desktop application. Again this particular one is called Splashtop but you can utilize any of the other ones. And it does work very well with both the Macintosh computer platforms 
and the Windows computer platforms. If you have any questions about how to utilize it, please contact us at Suncastle Technology. Our number is 877-306-6968 or you can reach us on the web at suncastletech.com.